the rarest things possible in Stardew Valley. Any game with tens, if not hundreds of different events that can happen, from basic hard events with Leia, to an alien crash on your farm, today we will be examining the rarest possible events that can happen in Stardew Valley. Only three rainy days in all of year one. On year one, only three days have to rain, like it's set in the game's code. Spring 3rd, Summer 13th, and Summer 26th. This is only because of festivals, of course. The chances of this happening are 0 0.00027. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this happened to me. I'm just that unlucky. 12 extra potatoes from one potato crop. Potatoes are one of the best spring crops for many reasons. It grows fast, it's a quick profit, and you can get more than one potato from a single plant if you're lucky. But are you lucky enough to get 12 potatoes from one crop? Well, probably not. You need 1 in 48,500,000 luck to get it, so you probably won't be getting that anytime soon. 15 Floor Shaft This one is pretty self-explanatory. Basically in Skull Caverns when you destroy rocks, you have a chance to spawn shafts that can drop you 3 to 15 floors. This is obviously a faster way than going down each ladder one by one, so it's a massive time saver. A fun fact is that shafts can actually normally account for up to 35% of the floors traveled in a cavern run. However, dropping 15 floors is not common, as it only has a 1.67% chance of happening, so when you get one, count your lucky stars. Every single item from an Iridium Bat The Iridium Bat is a mob that spawns in Skull Caverns and can drop lots of useful stuff, like batteries, energy tonic, Iridium bars, and Mega Bombs. But what are the chances that it drops all of them? Well, someone did the math and it turns out to be 1 in 3.5 billion. So let's just say it's probably not going to happen to you. Magic Rock Candy from the Haunted Skull On certain levels in the mine, an enemy called the Haunted Skull can spawn. It has a very, very low chance of dropping one of the most overpowered foods in the game. The magic Rock Candy. It gives plus 2 mining, plus 5 luck, plus 1 speed, plus 5 defense, plus 5 attack, lasts for 8 minutes and 24 seconds. Easily the best food in the game by far. However, it costs 3 prismatic shards to buy one from the desert trader. Very expensive. There is another way! Get a drop from a haunted skull mob. Uh, but it has a 0.13% chance to drop. So very rare and clearly not a consistent way to farm them. Very sad. Prismatic Shard from Omni Geode. Getting a Prismatic Shard from an Omni Geode. You can get a Prismatic Shard only after breaking 15 geodes, but after that you have a 0.4% chance of getting one, so very, very rare. Strange Dolls. Strange Dolls are artifacts that you can get. They are very, very rare, however, but they can be very useful early game, because they sell for a thousand gold. They have about 0.1% chance of dropping, so they are very, very rare, but a great jumpstart for early games. Getting 999 tarot tubers. This is probably one of the rarest things that could ever happen, not just in Stardew Valley, but like in the universe. <laughs> With chances even lower than dream speedrunning. <laughs> Basically, when you kill a ginger slime, it's at a chance to drop a seed called a tarot tuber. It has a 10% chance to drop first, then a 50% that tries again and again for extra ones until it fails. In theory, you get 999 of them from one single slime. The chances of this, you ask? I, I don't know how to read this number, but essentially it's just this percentage. <laughs> so it's insanely low, this is never gonna happen. I don't even know why I included this, just as a meme, I guess. <laughs> Strange Capsule slash Owl Statue. These are kind of rare events, but they're pretty much the classics that people think of when they think of rare events. However, as of the 1.5 update, they are nowhere near as rare, with only about a 1% chance. Still pretty low, but nowhere close to as low as it was before. Maximum Iridium Ore from a Purple Slime Purple Slimes in Skull Caverns have a 0.9 chance to drop Iridium and an 8% chance after that that continues until it fails to check. If you wanted to get 5 Iridium Ore, enough for one bar, the chances would be 0.000327. Maybe it would be a better idea to just mine the ores manually. Raining every single day in summer Rain can be one of the most frustrating, or the most useful events that can happen in Stardew Valley. It saves you from watering, you can get special fish, and much, much more. But what are the chances of it raining every single day in summer, except for the event days? Well, Sundeco, a professional Stardew Valley player, did the math, and it turns out to be 1 in 2 quintillion. That is a 2 with 18 zeros. Prismatic shard dropping from a slime. 
Slimes are pretty much the first mob you see, unless you choose the wilderness farmer of course. Even with them being that common, they have a small chance to drop a prismatic shard, one of the most useful items in the game. However, they only have a 0.05% chance of dropping it, so low, but still a chance. Special Hats There are actually way more hats that you can obtain just by doing basic things. The first hat is the Mushroom Hat, which has 1% of dropping when you cut down a mushroom tree, and a pretty decent looking hat in my opinion. The next hat is the Living Hat, which has a 0.01% chance of dropping from Breaking Fiber, and 0.1% chance of dropping from Wilderness Golems, which spawn on the Wilderness Farm. This hat is decent, but probably my least favorite out of the four mentioned here. That being said, it is ironically the rarest. You have 